So I changed my mind and I am carrying this brick up. I mean, how often do you get a chance to carry a brick up to a stupa in the process of reconstruction? As I go up here, can't even see the top. Let's go for it. Here are the major sites to visit in Anuradhapura, the ancient capital of Sri Lanka, located in what is known as a cultural triangle. Cultural triangle because of its concentration of cultural sites having to do with mostly Buddhism. In the previous vlog, vlog number 10, I visited Ranwanwelesa Stupa. Over 2,000 years old and only second in size to the pyramids of Giza. Then I visited Sri Maha Bodhi, the sacred Bodhi tree. A sapling from the original Bodhi tree in India where Buddha found enlightenment. In this vlog, I'll be firstly visiting Abhayagiri Stupa. Agoba is another name for Stupa. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and the heat's just coming down or going up. I don't know which. And I'm Ab Abhayagiri Stupa, built by King. Well, you can read the rest of it. But it goes back a long way and it peaks out right over there. Well, it was built by King Walagamba in the first century BC, and the illustration shows what it looked like before it was restored. Restoration started in 1997. Stupas are made of bricks, and uh, apparently the restoration took uh, 2.8 million bricks. And I'll get back to bricks later on in this vlog, as I make my own one brick contribution to the effort. By the way, your viewing travels with Lobo, vlog number 11 in the series three-week discovery tour of Sri Lanka, and I'm taking a tea in Sri Lanka. What else? Even though I'm definitely a coffee guy. In this vlog, I'll be covering the following topics. If you want to go straight to my one brick effort, you can go to the 730 mark. Thank you for viewing. I'm uh, at the entrance and I see the dreadful sign, take off your shoes and hats. So my feet are just about at the limit. I'll give it a try, but it's so damn hot. This is encouraging uh, these hemp runners that they put down actually do not transmit the heat. So I might be okay to make it in there. And I'm not exaggerating. It is just like your feet are fried. This is a wide angle camera and it barely, barely gets the size of the stupa. And remember stupas, uh, you can't go inside because there's no way to get in there. What they contain are relics, relics, relics that'll stay in there, I guess forever. Surprisingly, this stupa did have something to see right there through those doors. Let's go have a look. Oh yeah, this is the Reclining Buddha. Seen plenty of those in Myanmar, Thailand, and this is a relatively small one. Wasn't expecting a reclining Buddha since normally there's nothing in a stupa that you can access. But here it is in all its glory the reclining Buddha. You can't really say that this uh, reclining Buddha was inside the stupa. It was a, an exhibit at the extremity. As to why there should be a reclining Buddha here, well, the next concept kind of explains that. The concept is Atamastana, or eight sacred places. Those were the places that Buddha visited during his three visits to Sri Lanka. Note today's vlog, Abhayagiri, Dagaba and last week's vlog, Ruwan Welesaya Stupa. That's the same as the Dagaba. And he also visited the famous Bodhi tree that I had in last week's vlog, the Jaya Sri Maha Bodhaya. Now you can see that brown square where the uh, Dagaba is located, but the whole area is called Abhayagiri Monastery and it's huge. I'm now at a uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
It's massive. And the price is massive too. 25 US dollars. It's not cheap coming here to Sri Lanka. But if you want to see it, you got to pay for it. Some of the archaeological sites. Model of the. Well, you read it for yourself. And there it is again, the Abhayagiri Stupa. And the dramatic view of the before and after. And there a photo of the Lankarama Stupa, which I was to see later. All of these historical sites are very close to Adharadapura. The railway station's right there. In last week's vlog, I visited the world-famous Bodhi Tree as well as Ruwan Walasaya Stupa, the world's biggest brick structure. In this week's vlog, I'm doing Abahayagiri Stupa, the world's second biggest brick structure. And as far as I can tell, the whole area is referred to as the Abhayagiri Monastery UNESCO World Heritage Site. Standing in front of the Lanka Rama Stupa in the UNESCO World Heritage Site Park. Gotta love the white against the brilliant blue sky. Lankara Maya was said to have been the nunnery of the Abhayagiri Monastery. Archaeological sites baking in the heat as they have been for centuries. Some details of uh, former glory. As I realized I took my long pants off a bit too early but there's nobody around so you may be surprised but uh i think uh, walking around the archaeological site uh, i it wasn't my cup of tea it uh, really didn't hit the spot what can i say the first stupa built in sri lanka what's it called tuparama tuparama yeah we also passed uh, tuparamaya first stupa built in uh, sri lanka built by King Tissa that I mentioned in the previous vlog, um, historically significant because apparently it contains the right collarbone of Buddha. Well, like any religion, you got to have faith. So right here uh, is apparently a new stupa being built. I don't understand new because those bricks looks old. So they may be just renovating it or building it higher. I don't know. No, it's new and it's being built by the army to commemorate the victory of, in the Civil War over the Tamil Tigers. And um, watch me as I make my one brick contribution. So I was just told by a military person that you can climb up there and I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, and you can, like the locals, carry up a brick. So if I find a brick, I will carry it up. See the size of the bricks being carried up by those people there. I don't think I'll be carrying a brick. There's uh, some here, but they're mighty big. So I changed my mind, and I am carrying this brick up. I mean, how often do you get a chance to carry a brick up to the stupa in the process of reconstruction. As I go up here, can't even see the top. Let's go for it. So there are the bricks. I like to say they're being made there, but no, they're constructing something else. I don't have much far further to go. And there's my brick. I noticed along the way, People have abandoned their bricks. Too difficult. I'm not going to abandon it. The wind's blowing nicely up here. It's cooler. As I look out, I think off in the distance, that's the highest mountain in Sri Lanka. Nice try, but as you can see, the highest peak is Pidurutayagala. Well, it's south of Kandy, and I'm way up there in Anuradhapura. No way that I'm looking at the highest mountain in Sri Lanka. Nice try. I'm not even close, and close only counts in horseshoes. I reached the top with my brick, and uh, this is the panoramic view. More archaeological sites. The 
look at that. Lots of manual labor. And if you're wondering where's the brick I carried up, it's right there. That is my brick. So Travels with Lobo is responsible for getting a brick to the top of this stupa. Hey, who gets to do that every day? Not me, so that's why I took advantage of doing this. Notice on the horizon on the left, Run Wan Willessa Stupa on the right, Abhayagiri Stupa. Imagine this, uh, one brick at a time with a uh, chain gang, so to speak. That's incredible. And my brick is still there in the corner. I should carry it over to those guys, but the surface is so damn rough and my feet are so damn tender. I can't do it. And you cannot walk around the outer edge as there's a military person here preventing you from doing that because they're concerned about, oh, he's going so I could do it. Safety first, don't walk around the outside. They told me that. As you can tell, I'm so fascinated with my brick, one of 30 million of these bricks that it will take to finish this particular stupa built by the military as a monument to the victory over well, you know the rest of the story. Thank you for viewing, and uh, if you're still around at this point, I really appreciate that because it puts you into a very, very small group. But nevertheless, uh, I enjoyed doing this, this video, and I'm going to do another one next Friday. Join me then at Travels with Lobo. Bye.